Hi fishy folks and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Before we get started in the video, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, just take the giant hammer and bah! And then gently caress the notification bell. And when we're done, check out michaelsfishroom.com for plecos and guppies, and you can buy a t-shirt there if you want. All right guys? Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and uh, I'm, let's just jump right into it, alright? Stand by! Well hi fishy folks and happy Water Change Wednesday. Today, an unboxing. Now the box is wet. It also was scheduled to arrive Saturday. Um, the person that uh, shipped it to me at this point doesn't know I'm doing an unboxing and I don't know what's going to happen inside. The story goes, as happened so many times, Hey Mike, I have all these extra fish, do you want them? Depending on what they are, I'll take them. Depending on how much they cost, I'll take them. <coughs> because I can buy fish at wholesale, why would I pay more unless it's something special? But if you're willing to sell them to me at wholesale and you can't do anything with them, I don't mind buying them from you. Um, I bought some plecos that way, I bought some guppies that way. We'll see what these are in a second. But it says priority today, he mailed it on Thursday. And it's now Monday and they just showed up. And the bottom of the box is wet. It's not soaked, but it's definitely wet. Looks like it's packed pretty good. There's more tape on it than I use, that's for sure. So let's see, let's see what we got. We got the man knife. We're gonna open it. Gotta be careful when you open these boxes. You don't know how close the bag is to the top. You don't wanna puncture it right away. Styrofoam box, that's nice. Close the knife so we don't cut our fingers off. Nice styrofoam box. Very nice. Very nice bags. Sarah bags. I love the sound. But there's a lot of uh, air. And there's a little water dripping. Yeah, these should be like, like, you know, that, not like, so, this is me, my belly, right? And this is like an athlete, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so let's, uh, yellow rubber bands. Love the Sarah bags. Oh boy. Leaking, but appear to be alive. One for one. I mean, realistically, if fish are fasted and are healthy, I don't see why they couldn't last four days in a box, in a bag. This one also slightly leaking, water's pretty dirty. These appear mostly dead. No, some of them are alive. There's at least one dead one in here and also leaking. So we gotta work on that, my friend. But you want to see what they are, I'm sure. So let's take a look, folks. Standard bristlenose plecos, soon to be for sale on michaelsfishroom.com. Um, we're going to plop and drop. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them because I, I haven't done that yet. After, uh, yeah, I just haven't done yet. I was gonna make some excuse, like after they were delayed, I did, no, I didn't. I just, I don't really know where I'm gonna put them yet. So many choices, I think I know. But I gotta clean the tank a little bit. So, anywho, do me a favor. Stand by. I wanna plop and drop. I'll show you a plop and drop. Don't stand by. Stay right there. If I can find a bucket. There it is. Actually, no, you're gonna have to stand by. Because if I plop and drop, I have no place to put them. That's bad. Very bad. Don't do that. It's very bad. So, stand by. All right, fishy folks, I am going to plop and drop now. They've been acclimating in the water for about 30 minutes. They were pretty much up to temperature because it was it's close to 80 outside. It's 78 degrees in the fish room. That water is probably, I did add some warmer water to it, so it's probably close to 80 degrees, if not a little warmer. We're gonna plop and drop right now. So, the thing about plecos especially, when you ship fish, you have to add more oxygen to water so they can breathe. 
However, if you don't add enough water, it could certainly get um, toxic very fast. And plecos are big poopers, much like I am. I'm a big pooper myself, so are plecos. So the water does look pretty hazy, if you will. We just popped the rubber band off and went into another pleco tank, how ironic. We're going to, the other thing with plecos is they like to hang in the bag. I love these Sarah bags, my friend. Oh look, there's directions. There's a lot of plecos in there, and I can't tell who's alive and who's not yet, so we'll see. Oh, we'll see when we drop them in the tank. This is the plopping part. It's hard to see if there's a pleco in here with the color of the bags. These guys are a little bit more lively. And then we drop them in the tank. And let's see. I was pretty sure I had a couple DOAs. It doesn't appear that I do. I'm gonna continue to check, stand by. There are definitely a couple that aren't doing well. Oh. Yeah, there's a dead one. So far, oh! What the hell? He's not dead. He's just plain dead. He literally just jumped out of my hand. Now he's swimming around like he's Aquaman. That's pretty creepy, yo. All right, here's the deal, fishy folks. I'm gonna show you the tank. Then I'm gonna let us sit, I'm gonna go eat dinner. We got some creamy lemon chicken the wife made. Uh, and then after dinner, I'm gonna come down and check on the plecos again and probably film them again. So why don't you guys go eat dinner or whatever you're gonna do. Hold on, let's go check the plecos out, stand by. All right, fishy folks, these are just standard, ordinary bristle nose plecos with some nice little patterning to them, but there was one stuck to the glass. That's the one that I think jumped out of my hand and is alive like Aquaman. See how he sw did you see how he's swimming all cattywampus? Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna make it. See him? He was swimming all cattywampus. Um, if you remember, this was the tank with the super red plecos in it. Look, there's another one that might not be doing so well. Um, I don't know what happened. I lost the whole tank of super red plecos. I know a couple people have ordered them. Don't worry, I have more coming in this week. I will put them through quarantine and hopefully ship them to you on Tuesday. There's another one in the back that doesn't appear that he's doing too well. You see how they're swimming all cattywampus? Um, look, look, that one. So we'll see how it goes, fishy folks. We're going to give it a couple hours. I'm not going to feed them. I'm not going to medicate them just yet. I'm going to wait and see what happens. Uh, speaking of medicating, I have already prepared in case I forget. Here's one water fill line, here's more water fill line, so there's no water fill line going to here. So we will medicate for one week using the triple cocktail of EM erythromycin, ICX, and General Cure, which you can get from your friendly neighborhood Super Cichlids store, www.supercichlids.com. Don't forget to use promo code SHIP for free to get free shipping. It's just like Amazon, only better. You know why it's better? Because it's not Amazon. That's why. All right, fishy folks, go eat dinner. Grab a beverage, perhaps some dessert, maybe some fruit if you want to eat healthy. I don't know why you'd want to, but, you know, you could. And then uh, we'll come back in a moment and, uh, well, a moment for you, but really a couple hours for me. We'll come back and we'll check on the plecos. All right, fishy folks, we're back. Uh, about two hours later, and I had to put a pot on my homemade sponge filter. It kept floating up even though I squeezed all the air out of it and it was underwater. Um, so far I have found one small pleco that has passed. I've already taken it out of the tank. And also, I don't know if you can see on the side of that sponge filter, it's not gonna focus because the water is so um, dirty. Well, just debris, but there's one shrimp. So I'm guessing there were shrimp in the tank 
that these guys were in. But they're good looking plecos. I hope most of them make I mean I hope all of them make it except for the one obviously that passed. Um, but they're good looking plecos and I've emailed the uh, person that sent them to me and suggested we work on his shipping technique, bagging technique. And because uh, I think without the water leaking, um, it was a pretty good job shipping. I mean, the boxes were what were, were the box was insulated well. And, uh, you know, I think it was a good job. And these are good looking plecos. I'm, I'm pretty actually, I'm pretty happy actually. Yeah. So uh, that's about it for today's unboxing, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a fish room tour, and then you'll see how got these guys did. Hopefully that fish room tour will come out on Friday. Um, so Wednesday we have this video. Friday, hopefully, a fish room tour. And uh, hopefully I'll be doing that tour, that fish store tour that I told you about in a couple of days or a couple of weeks. Did you see that guy just do a barrel? What the heck? He's all jacked up. It's like he's stoned or something. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope everyone has a great day. See ya. This water stinky. Hey fishy folks and happy water change Wednesdays here. Today we're gonna do an unboxing. And uh yeah, I got nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hi hey fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday. Guys, before we get in today's unbox Today's unboxing video is what I wanted to say. So let's Take two. Hi, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday. To guys, to fudge. Hi, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday to you. Before we get into today's video, do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Just gently caress the notification bell. My mic's backwards. You probably can't hear a word I'm saying. Ugh. Stand by.